Hello and welcome back! Or if it's your first time, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll wait till you finish the video, that's only fair, but don't forget. This is kind of an exciting video for me. I've been looking forward to doing this for a while. I've been putting it off for one reason or the other, but I'm finally doing it today. We are going to do it today. Several years ago, I spent days on end at the Margaret Herrick Library in Beverly Hills doing research on Audrey Hepburn. They have files and files on, on just everything in Hollywood, uh, letters and notes and wires, and it's, it's amazing in there. While going through the folders, I happened across a paper in the Roman Holiday Files that caught my attention. So even though I wasn't sure when I would use this information, I decided to copy it down anyway. After deciding to revive my YouTube channel last year, I realized that this was the perfect chance to use this information. What I found, obviously, were instructions for Audrey Hepburn's makeup for the film Roman Holiday. The instructions are simple, but what is interesting to me is that they are specifically for black and white film. I have never done makeup specifically for a black and white film. I have used what I've had and then gone into Photoshop to tweak things if it didn't look right in black and white. But that's not what they did back then. I'm not an expert on this at all. I just, I am aware of the fact that back then uh, and maybe even today, but especially back then, they had to do their makeup and, and clothing to look good on black and white film. So it might have looked really funny in person. They might have looked really tan, their lips might have been a funny color, and, and I think that's very interesting. I have never tried it because we have this technology and are able to tweak things and, and don't need special makeup. However, I am going to try it today. I was a little unsure if I'd be able to find everything on this list. It's a short list, but a little specific. Uh, they wanted something called a pan stick and pan cake in shade 626C. Very specific and helpful if it still exists. Not so helpful if it does not, because this was 60 or 70 years ago. <laughs> so I just crossed my fingers and Googled it. Just to get into the spirit of things, I printed out the instructions uh, to look a little old-fashioned. I actually can't remember what the original paper looked like, but probably something like this. Maybe I'll go back and check it out again next time I'm in Los Angeles. <laughs> but uh, here are my instructions. Okay, I'm going to start by reading through the list of items that we need, and I'm going to show you the items that I bought. The first item is base number 626C pan stick. This is what I bought, which I'm hoping is exactly what I need. It's a TV paint stick by uh, Creolan. Might not be pronouncing that right, not sure. Professional makeup. It's, uh, it is number 626C, and this is what it looks like. Not exactly my skin tone, so. <laughs> Second on the list for arms and body, number 626C, Pancake. This is what I bought and I hope it's what I need. It's by the same company, Cake Makeup. It's powder for television, film, and theater. And the shade is Tan 1. That's what that looks like. Next, for eyeshadow, it just says blue-gray. So for this one, I opted for some more natural makeup because that's what I use in my everyday life. I got some Dr. Hauschka uh, eyeshadow. It's got a, a blue in there. However, then after I had bought that, I found this other one by Anne-Marie Borland. I've never used this brand before, but the shade was um, gray-blue and it's definitely more gray than the other one. So. I bought that too. <laughs> That's probably the one I'm going to be using, really. Next on the list is highlight number 12. And to be honest, I got stuck on this one. I couldn't locate a highlight number 12. I don't know what shade this is. So because it's going to go 
under the eyes. I'm assuming it is a bit of a concealer and I'm just going to use my normal foundation because it matches my skin. I don't know if that's gonna work or not really because I don't know how that reacts. Well, this isn't real film, but it's the best I can do for now because I just don't know. For the lip rouge, they ask for a subtle red. For this, I'm going to be using one of these two Besame shades. I can't decide which one yet. Uh, this is Wild Orchid, which is a 1952 color. Sorry, it looks awful. I use it a lot. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty, it's kind of pinkish red. I, I really like that color. And the other one is Cherry Red, and that's a 1935 shade. Hard to see, it's a bit dark, but I would blot it. Uh, one of those, I'm not sure which one yet. Next on the list is a brown pencil. So this is a Dr. Hauschka brown eye definer pencil. It's uh, pretty dark. And so just as a backup, I, I do have my uh, cream brow pencil by Zuzu and it's very light um, in case I want to go lighter, but it's really light. The last item on this list is a little confusing because it should not be on the list. The list says black pencil. However, in the instructions, number six, when you're lining the upper lid with brown pencil, in all caps, it says not black. However, in instruction number seven, when it's talking about the mascara, it says to use a brown mascara. And I'm assuming there was some mix up there. I mean, it could have been on my part copying this. I really don't know. It's been a couple years. I think it was on their part though. Someone put black pencil instead of brown mascara. Happens. So I got a Dr. Hauschka, yeah, I had to check. <laughs> Dr. Hauschka brown mascara. And that is it for our tools. Actually, I bought this thing too. I thought that might come in handy. So don't let me forget to use that. So now that I've got everything I need and I really hope that foundation works as a highlighter number 12, let's get started. I still haven't quite figured out how to best do hair and makeup tutorials where I need a camera in front of me and a mirror. But today I'm going to be using this hand mirror and hoping it doesn't get to be too awkward or heavy. It's really heavy. I'm gonna move over a little bit so I can put the instructions right over here. Application of makeup. Number one, first apply number 12 highlight to the dark circles under the eyes, then powder. As I said, I'm going to be using my personal foundation as my highlight number 12. And by powder, I assume they mean using the pancake powder. I'll be using my poor little personal powder poof <laughs> to do that, I think. I don't have a new one. And I don't think that egg thing works for powder. Well, here we go. Okay, now for the fun part. Step number two, apply 626C pan stick all over the face, then rub gently to spread it evenly then pat the face all over to remove any finger marks. Please don't laugh at me. I don't know if I'm supposed to spread it like this with my hands or what. I guess, I guess this thing. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well then, that's, yeah, that's about what I expected. Step number three, use 626C pan stick and number 12 highlight mixed and apply lightly under the eyes in the same dark area as before. I'm not totally sure how I wanna do this.
Number four, apply blue-gray eyeshadow to the eyelids and smooth down gently. Number five, powder under the eyes first and then the rest of the face and eyelids. Important, don't use too much powder. She should have a nice skin sheen and not the dull flat look. Then brush off excess powder. I'm going to use this brush for the powder. I hope that works. <laughs> it's a very big brush. Maybe too big. That's working very well. Number six, line the upper lid with brown pencil, not black, close to the eyelashes to make the lashes appear heavier. Here we go. I'm not very good with eye pencils. Number seven, then mascara with brown mascara. Only the upper lashes, that is in capital letters. I personally use this little thing after putting on mascara. If you use this, be very careful. Don't jab your eye with it. It does not feel good. I did that once on a weekend trip to New York and the rest of the day I was just crying. <laughs> it was not pleasant. Number eight, apply lip rouge. And I think I am gonna go with a wild orchid. Number nine, cover exposed parts of body with 626C pancake. Now I'm going to admit I wasn't sure how that would work because it's a powder and I tried and you know, nothing. Then I read the instructions on the back of the box which says use a wet sponge. So we're gonna do it right. And we're going to get this, I hope that works. That is my sponge. And we're going to get that wet do that. Now, now this makes more sense, huh? Okay. Well then, I'm pretty, pretty much covered in makeup now. It's not that even. I did not do the greatest job, but <laughs> oh boy. Hi. And now what we've all been waiting for, what does this look like in black and white?
thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. It was so fun to finally follow these instructions and see how weird I look. I still have not seen how it looks in black and white, so I'm still excited to see that. If you did enjoy this video, I might have some other videos you'll enjoy as well, including an upcoming video about the recreation of Audrey Hepburn's Sabrina gown. So if you don't want to miss that one, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications and I will see you next week with that video. Hopefully next week. I'm aiming for next week, so we'll see. As I've said before, if you have any ideas or suggestions for future videos I can make, please leave it in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video. Well, that's it for this week. Stay tuned for the Sabrina dress. <laughs> Bye.